Daily Voice readers and a very warm welcome to the Daily Voice Youth Mind Edition. Today, myself and my peers will be sharing with you what we are doing in our communities to change lives as young people, as well as what Youth Mind truly means to us. My name is Malika Swail. I'm 17 years old. I live in Reitabach and I attend Alsis River High School. I wrote a letter to the president regarding my concerns about the reopening of schools, which was scheduled to happen on June the 1st, but was then postponed to June the 8th. In my letter, I expressed my concerns and what challenges it poses, not just health challenges, but emotional challenges as well. There were many reasons that contributed to why I wrote the letter. One, because I was extremely fearful, not just for my health, but for the health of my peers and teachers as well. Especially considering the fact that Western Cape has the highest infection rate in South Africa. There is also an enormous amount of pressure being placed on us as learners simply because we are still expected to write a full-scale exam at the end of the year, which means that we would have to rush through our syllabus in order to get things done in time, which then in turn places an enormous amount of pressure on our teachers as well, because they too are being thrust into the most difficult time of their life. Our teachers are full with so much stress and anxiety and I cannot begin to imagine how difficult it is for them. Not because they don't want to teach or because they are lazy, but simply because they want to create a conducive environment that would be beneficial for learners and because they are not used to teaching differently. Our learners also face an enormous amount of challenges. We endure so much stress and anxiety that comes with going to school. Like I said in my letter, this year was supposed to be the beginning of a new chapter for us. My letter also stated, I always thought that the biggest stress I would endure during my matric year would be the heavy workload and exams, but I was wrong. Now the biggest stress I am facing is the fact that I need to return to school during the pandemic. And the fears were genuinely so real. It brought unimaginable stress and all I could think about was what if I contracted the virus or what if one of my teachers or peers contracted the virus. My heart goes out to each and every teacher who is trying to make learning as normal as possible despite their fears. On June the 8th, we the matric class of 2020 and the grade 7s of 2020 returned back to school. We, as the youth of South Africa, placed our faith above our fears in pursuit of a bright future. Although returning was not easy and it was not something we were quite eager to do, not because we are lazy, but simply because we are afraid and full with so much fear and anxiety. My heart is filled with so much joy knowing that despite all the challenges and risks, our youth has taken a stance to return back to school and finish the year, trying their best to defy all odds. This year has definitely not gone as planned the way we wanted it to, but one thing for sure is that if there is a group of learners who despite all challenges are trying their best to persevere and succeed, then it is the matric class of 2020. This youth month, we fondly remember Hector Peterson and all South Africans who took part in the Soweto uprisings on 16 June 1976. We pay tribute to all the youth of 1976 who have sacrificed so much in the fight against apartheid. The Soweto uprisings of 1976 was one of South Africa's most heartbreaking but one of South Africa's most successful protests ever. Today, we salute and commemorate the youth of 1976 for their brave efforts in creating a better future for us and for the role they played in developing a democratic South Africa for us. To me, Youth Month is a celebration of the youth, a month in which tribute is paid to the youth of 1976 for their powerful stance against apartheid. Their actions has inspired the youth over the years to continue to stand firm for what we believe in. If there is something that they left behind that will forever be remembered and etched into South Africans, then it is the fighting spirit and that we should never ever lose sight of what matters. I pray that all South Africans would value the freedom today because it was something that was definitely not easy to obtain. 
So I urge each and every South Af- each and every South African, value your freedom, value the changes that has been made, because many sacrificed their life for us to have a better one. To the youth of South Africa, my message of hope for you is that you never lose sight of how capable you are of achieving greatness. Never ever doubt yourself or think that you will not achieve your goals simply because you are finding yourself in tough times. Whatever challenges it is that you are facing right now is only redirecting you into something even greater. So never lose faith and always believe in yourself. Remember, you are the pilot of your own dreams and you know in your heart what it is you want to achieve. Each and every goal that you set for yourself is most definitely attainable if you stay focused and determined. We as the youth of South Africa can make a difference. We need to stand together and unite as one. Like Nelson Mandela once said, Sometimes it falls upon a generation to be great. You can be that generation. Let your greatness blossom. May God continue to bless the youth of South Africa abundantly and may we continue to always rise above our circumstances. Hello voice readers and welcome to Youth Month. I am Imran Hamza and I am 18 years old. I come from a gang-related area called Pontiago. Growing up in an area such as Pontiago can be very difficult on our youth of today. As many of us are facing uh, problems within our household and or we are easy misled. Some of us are even going to sleep at night without a plate of food. Therefore, I have come with the idea, or should I say a plan, whereby we are growing to give, meaning that we grow as a community, but also giving back to the community. With this, we have our main mission. Our mission is to make sure that we are able to supply our soup kitchen on a regular basis with fresh organic vegetables that can feed hundreds of people within the community. Our, with this, we are doing our normal practicing, our value practicing, which is honesty, open-mindedness, reliability, and commitment. With this, we will use those values not only in the garden, but in our lives as, as well. As well, we have our short-term goals. Our short-term goal is to show that we can get a nice harvest and provide for our for for the soup kitchen. As many of us is the first time of us doing this gardening thing, but at the end of the day, most of them are enjoying it and coming back for more. Our vision, our long-term goal, our long-term goal is to make sure that the other communities can do the same thing and the other youth within other communities to also grow and give back to the community as this is a way of us getting from the streets and staying out of mischief. Our vision is to see ourselves in the future leading others in a way where they can also sustain themselves and teach them some values and and life lessons and tips with, you know, with others within our community. So what does Youth Month mean to me? Youth Month mean to me is where we, where people recognize and honor the youth as they are the youth of today, but the leaders of tomorrow. When I say this, I mean that they are the ones that will be leading us tomorrow. So for youth month is where people should believe in the youth. They should encourage them and guide them because they do not know what they're doing at, at least and you as a as a as a big person or an elder person can guide them and show them this is the way and what and how you should do things within the field within isn't in a gardening, whatever soup kitchen, uh cutting here, whatever way of they like giving back or even you know start their own business, motivate them, be there for them because youth mind is all about giving back to the youth but also empowering them because that is the main thing that we can do as a community. So my advice, my advice is to, for the people to, like I said, believe in the youth, believe, see that they in it, do not push them away, even though they come, they might be rude to you the following day, but believe that that child can make a difference, because if you treat them well, they will be automatically treat you well, in that sense, but also for the youth to never give up on your goals, 
no matter how hard it is, people say you can't do it. Don't don't listen to them. And don't be and don't wait for better days as these are the days that we can make a difference. But in and in, in whatever you do, please do it with a passion and with a love. A love and passion because when you do things like that, you do it to be you do it to your best abilities and you will get more things out than to do things that you are forced to do. And don't be scared to try new things as trying new things can open other doors for you as a youth. My advice is also to surround you with people that's positive and that have great minds. Do not surround with people that wants to always um, press you down or you want to bring a bad side out in you. Go to people that will motivate you on a regular basis. People that, because they say, surround your people with good people will make you a better person. Because if you treat others around you well, they will treat you automatically well and that will make a better community at the end of the day. So, thank you very much. I I am I am very honored to talk to you today. And I just want to take this time to say thank you for all the sponsors, for what they've done to us this, this far. As, as it's a great help to us. And for Mo and Friends Youth Garden, we say happy happy youth month to you and I thank you. Hello people, good day Daily Voice readers and welcome to the Daily Voice Youth Month edition. My name is Cameron Duplessis, a 16 year old social activist fighting against the great injustice that is served to our people by our South African government. Many people ask me, Cameron, why did you start this organization? It is simply because I myself was failed by the justice system. This month, Cape Prize Matter will be focusing on youth because it is youth month. What will we be doing? Many people ask me, what will we be doing? And my answer was, we will be teaching compassion to youth because youth know too little about love, 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 love. And I believe that love can conquer the world as one. We, the minute we realize that we are one body, we will conquer this world. The minute we realize that compassion is key, we will conquer the world. So this month, Cape Lives Matter will be taking a group of young people to the streets, giving other young people essential products such as a sanitizer, soap, and a face mask. Mostly, we will be giving them that so that they they can also have, this is all in preparation for our young people to be safe and clean for school. This month, what people may mean, a lot of people in my previous interviews asked me, what does Youth Month mean to me? Simply, Youth Month means nothing to me. Because Youth Month shouldn't, Youth shouldn't be a month. It shouldn't be a 16 day thing, it shouldn't be a day thing, but it should be a year thing. Because the minute we realize that youth is the future, we will have a better future because the leaders that we create today is the future we will have tomorrow. So the more we focus on youth, the better we have, the better future we will have tomorrow. So what Youth Month means to me? Nothing. Youth Month means nothing. But... Youth means everything. I would love to thank the Daily Voice for this amazing opportunity. Thank you for listening and also... Thank you for listening to The Daily Voice. Have an amazing day, Father. It's the Youth Month spirit. So, youth, have a blessed and a happy Youth Month. Happy Youth Month to all. Thank you very much. I am Cameron Duplessis, the founder of the K Plus Matter Organization. Peace out. Good day, Daily Voice readers. My name is Colin Shannon Simmers, and welcome to the Youth Month edition. Um, I'm the co-founder for Youth for Change, um, an organization established in 2018. Um, basically what our organization is about, we are about presenting alternatives to youth and children um, faced with a lot of negativity as we're living in on the Cape Flats, we are faced with poverty, with substance abuse, with gangsterism and normally kids and youth um, um, try and and fit in and, and we just... Um, we just here to present to them other opportunities to present to them um, a more positive um, approach to life. And um, what we currently offer is a creative arts program where we do dance and drama, music, and as well as writing. We also have a program called Social Nights or Events where we get youth and kids to come together and play games, interact, sing, dance, just express themselves and be themselves and where we motivate and we get youth to um, also participate and also to open up. And ultimately, we want youth and kids to learn and understand that the 
decisions and the choices that they make today will ultimately determine their destinies. And so basically we, we want to implement and we want to encourage positive change. And also, um, Currently, with the pandemic, we are busy doing a feeding scheme where our youth comes and volunteers. We make sandwiches and we, we distribute them to the kids and the youth and people in our community. We also have some older women helping us with the cook pots of food. But then our youth come and we serve our community. So what we're also trying to teach youth is it is better better to give than to receive. Um, we also try to teach youth to... Um, respect and care for um your fellow um for the fellow citizen for the for for our fellow people and basically um that is what youth for change is currently doing ultimately we want um these youth to become leaders in our community ultimately we want these youth to become mentors for the younger ones so that is basically what youth for change does and that is basically what we stand for just um to basically present our youth with opportunities to present our youth with an alternative, a positive alternative. And also, um, while they acted, um, become people, um, who flourishes, who brings change, who, who leads ultimately. So, yeah, that is what Youth for Change is for. And for me, um, Youth Month is a month where we remember those who have laid down their lives in order to bring change, to rem remember those who inspired us and also try and become an inspiration in small little ways. Um, I believe that we don't have to um, do big things to inspire change and to bring change about. Um, also, um, uh, my advice to youth is um, be the change that you want to see. There's a lot of things going on in our community and that we don't like. And But if each of us can just try and be um, a bit more kinder, a bit more humble, um, be driven, um, understand your purpose and um, understand your goals, find people that you can attach yourself to to that can um push you into your destiny that can speak life into your into your situation um i also want to encourage the youth that um make small changes in your own life and in your household and ultimately ultimately we will see that our communities will flourish and i know it's going to take a lot of work and um Youth for Change um, can't do it on their own. We need partners. We need other people. But I just want to encourage youth that um, you have to um, attach yourself to, to people that can help you forward in life. I also want to encourage the youth that um, we need to get up, dress up and show up because the world needs us. Um, they say we are the future, but I believe that the future is now. So we need to um, step up and step forward. Um, God has given each of us abilities and skills and we need to apply them. Um, I believe that we can take our communities forward and I believe that we can bring about positive change. I believe that all the for all the negativity, there is also positivity. Um, I believe that we can implement this. I believe that um, the youth, this is our time now. I also want to encourage the youth, um, hold on to humility, um, be bold, but be humble. Um, yeah, show respect to your fellow people. Um, let's love one another. Let's, um, let's, 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 let's conquer the world with goodness and kindness and love. And, um, yeah, ultimately just take our communities to another level. Ultimately, um, become people of value and um, a person to be remembered. Um, with this, I want to thank you and I want to greet you. Um, thank you for joining us and um, have a happy youth month.